how does music appear in South Park? Got to kind of think about it, right? Because it because it, it appears in very different ways, very different incarnations. Um, but oftentimes we hear it to, for an aesthetic purpose. That it basically is there uh, as a point of emphasis. It's there to complement. Uh, how a character feels or the mood and this could be incidental music which is um, not original soundtrack music it's just music that exists uh, in the world that South Park has got a license for and it fits the vibe um, or the you know the, the part of the the story in many ways or they create their own music to again aesthetically fit fit the context Musically, music often is diegetic in South Park. So we have the, uh, in Faith Plus One, I mean, we have Moop performing, we have Crimson Dawn performing in Band in China and Finger Bang. Um, we have, uh, you know, uh, Faith Plus One perform and Christian Rock Hard. I mean, it, this is diegetic music. So diegetic, and, and you know, I know a lot of y'all aren't cinema studies majors. For y'all who are, I know this is the snooze button. Diegetic is, is music that appears in the narrative uh, uh, or in the character's world, so meaning they hear it. So if it's coming out of a guitar hero, for instance, um, that's within the narrative, the story. It's diegetic. It's diegetic music. The characters hear it. It's from within the world. It, they turn on the radio. Music comes on. That's diegetic. Okay? Uh, music can also appear non-diegetically, meaning it's straight-up soundtrack. It actually does not interact with the narrative whatsoever in terms of being in the character's world. The characters can't hear it. It may affect the mood or the vibe. It may help tell the story, but the characters do not, they do not partake in the music. The music is not part of uh, the character's world, which is the diegetic music that's part of it. Uh, South Park does a shit ton of parody uh, in, in its music. I mean... There's just in, so much uh, parody in like the Kanye West, uh, you know, where they did Bound to. Um, they did it in the uh, Fish Sticks episode at the end. Um, I mean, they just parody a lot of pop, pop, pop music. They do a lot of, you know, they make fun of it, Lyri typically lyrically. Um, so parody is a, a major part. It's also like alluded, a, a major part of illusion. So, um, so these again are like vaguer references to things. They're not directly making fun of uh, a song uh, itself, but they're they're kind of alluding to a specific genre or they're alluding to a specific song. So it feels like the song has a vibe of the original song. You kind of get a connection there, but it's not clearly a parody like the Bound to. Uh, was you know which is which is important. So illusion is sort of like it's a loose reference to something. I don't know if you picked up on Christian Rockhard, where Cartman's writing um, songs in a no on a notepad, uh, a notebook on the bus is an allusion to Eminem's Eight Mile. Uh, so they do a lot of that as well. So South Park, you know, music is a major part, and it has to do with Trey's musical background, their penchant for making. Uh, musicals i mean even south park bigger longer uncut is it's a mu it's a musical cartoon uh team america has moments of that as well 